Electronic scooter and bike riders could soon be seeing some new rules and regulations. San Diego City officials are cracking down for pedestrian safety. KUSI's Teresa Sardina joins us live from Little Italy with more on this. Teresa, good evening. Good evening, Ginger. And speaking of safety, that's why we're out here. We stopped at Mission Beach and here in Little Italy. I've been on e-scooter and e-bike patrol right now. We stopped here at Beach Street Industry because this is part of the problem right here. The Transportation Committee for the city, they had issued some new rules. Now the city council will have to vote on, but we're getting a lot of reaction to this. This is all about safety. The city is saying they're not anti-scooters, but they are pro-pedestrian safety. But many riders we spoke to, to spoke to today said those who do not comply with the rules, they're going to ruin it for everybody. Take a look. Riding out of the pandemic, more scooters and electronic bikes in the urban and beach neighborhoods. We stop at Mission Beach Monday. It's going to take one time for a young person or a little child to get hit by one of them and everything be cracked down. I don't really care for them. I think they got a little too much juice for the kids. In 2020, they were banned from beach and bayside boardwalks due to safety and the high volume of incidents. Some cruising and some going way too fast. And then you have those that leave them wherever, as you see in Little Italy. I didn't want to have to rent them anymore, so I, I bought one myself and then uh, yeah, I drive that to work every day. If you're following the rules that cars follow, you're probably okay. Um, I can't say that I'm not like I've not been per, you know, somebody who's flown through the streets before, depending on how late I am to work. So uh, that being said, I think we should be held accountable, I think, for violating any laws. I wouldn't be worried about it, um, but I think it could be kind of a hit to, to maybe the, the company like Lime or Lyft operating these things. San Diego city officials responding to residential and business owner complaints, mainly with scooters now proposing some changes. City Council's Active Transportation and Infrastructure Committee considering a long list of new rules and regulations. Here's a few. Riders could see a required app to scan driver's licenses. This to prevent underage riders and to keep track of complaints through the city's Get It Done tipster app. And they just run into people, you know, and it's not real good, it's dangerous. Also including how companies operate them, cracking down staging scooters in large clusters and ban parking scooters anywhere, suggesting city painted corrals. Parking regulation would also extend for electronic bikes. All scooters will be labeled in large font, quote, riding and parking on sidewalks are prohibited, end quote. These changes will come with penalties for those riders and companies that do not comply. You know, some other people that aren't used to it, seeing like bikes and uh, scooters go up and down all the time, then maybe, you know, they, they wouldn't like it that much. But, uh, you know, yeah, I, it's cool with me, yeah. Now, nearly 15 rules have been proposed, and as you can see right now, some of these companies, they do have the decals on there saying riding on sidewalks prohibited. So there are seven operators in the city of San Diego. Now, the city is looking at to maybe have two or four of them, but according to the city, I just spoke with them right before our live shot. The city council, they plan to vote on this late May, and if all these are approved, they will go into effect by July. But we're out here because this scooter here has been out here for about two hours now. And so part of one of the rules is that if a resident or a business owner sees an e-scooter on the sidewalk, then they could call the company and report it and it'll be taken away. But as we know that these e-scooters are banned for boardwalks and sidewalks. And I was just talking to so many of these riders here and I asked, stopped one of them. I said, hey, um, are you able to cruise on the sidewalk? And he says, oh, I don't know. I'm like, well, you can't. So it's really good that we're out here talking about this, about the rules and the safety for pedestrians as well. So we'll have more coming up in the five o'clock hour. Ginger. All right, Teresa, we'll see you then. Thank you.